does a stepfather have authority to bless stepchildren and adult stepchildren if he is the head of family through marriage? So from a, from a strict authority standpoint, in order for his authority to be perfected, um, first of all, if they're living in his household, he has the authority of the household. If they're not in the household, then he's not going to have that degree of authority. But what we see with adoption consistently is um, adoption follows the state's status toward the relationship, meaning an adoption has to be uh, formalized. And so what seems to compromise that is when the stepchild retains the name of the biological father and lives under the, in the household of another man, then you've got a house divided as, as far as that child. So authority is already um, muddled. It's already gonna be an issue. That's been the practical observation that we've seen with it. And with regard to adult children, <clears throat> go back to father's authority talk um, and so authority over adult children is not what you think it is um, and so that's why it's not working like you want it to work is it just it, it's not what we think it is um, go back and listen to the specifics of that talk and he, he may want to speak to it now but the step situation is already a compromised situation uh, yeah just to uh Kind of reemphasize something that Carl said. If you if they're just stepchildren, they haven't been adopted. You don't have authority over them. You do have authority over your home. And so when they're living in your home, they still have to follow your rules, etc. You can pray to keep the demons out of your house. And so um, when the stepchildren are in there, that will have some effect on them. But they, they you don't have you don't have any authority over them directly, just indirectly through over the house. And so it's not an authority in the proper sense. And so and that's that's why we have noticed that as Kyle said, that you get these situations where the child, the, the, if it's just a stepchild and it's not being adopted, they've got that compromised issue in relationship to authority. So once the, um, once the person is out of the house, they're technically speaking not under the authority of your household anymore because your authority is over the household. You don't have any authority in relationship to them in relationship to the household anymore because they're out of the house unless you've adopted them. And so this is just what we've noticed is that uh, as I mentioned, demons are legalists, mm -hmm. and so they know that if you don't have any jur uh, juridic or legal standing in a relationship to somebody, you don't have any authority over them, and so they'll recognize that. And you can get, as Kyle said, you can get a lot of um, compromised situations, and the, the demons will use those to divide the family. So uh, it's it can be uh, pretty dicey at times, actually.